hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on java programming for beginners and in this video we will see what is recursion and how we can use recursion in java so it's very common practice to call one method from another for example we create a static method add and we can call it inside our main method right so it's uh, very common and everybody knows that java also allows to call a method from itself like for example you can call add inside your add method itself and this type of programming is called a recursion or this uh, kind of programming when we call a method from itself is called a recursion and very basic or we can say hello world program for recursion uh, is factorial for calculating factorial so let's create a method to create a factorial for some number now those who don't know what is uh, factorial or what is the meaning of factorial we will i will just uh, give you small um, gist of it so a factorial is something like this so whenever you want to create a factorial of some number it's n which is a number multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 until 1 so for example we want to create or when we want to cal calculate the factorial of 5 this is equal to 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 and multiplied by 1 okay so this is how we can calculate factorial now let's create a method to create to calculate the factorial of a number so we can uh, create this like this public static this should be public static and this is going to return integer value and we name our factorial as factorial itself and it takes an integer int n for example or capital n as we are showing here and then we will try to find some algorithm which calculates the factorial so if the number is zero if uh, you know if uh, we want to find the factorial of zero it's one right so if n is less than or equal to one then we will say that the answer or we will return the answer as one right so something like this and here we will return 1 okay otherwise else we will return the value of n which we will uh, take it inside the bracket then the value of n minus 1 right so we can say indirectly that we want to calculate the factorial of n minus 1 okay so we will call the method itself and we will pass n minus 1 here okay and then we will just close this and here we just want to return so i will just add return so this type of calling i'm calling factorial inside my you know factorial method itself and what this basically is doing if the value of n is less than uh, zero or less than or equal to one we will return one because factorial of one and zero is one otherwise we will uh, return the multiplication of the n which is five for example if we want to calculate the factorial of five we will return 5 multiplied by factorial of 4 right 
so once again it go goes here and now we want to calculate the factorial of 4 and then once again it goes 4 multiplied by factorial of uh, 3 it goes once again here 3 and factorial of 2 and it goes once again factorial of 2 multiplied by factorial of 1 and factorial of 1 here when n becomes 1 or 0 we will return 1 okay so indirectly it's uh, calculating something like this okay and whenever we want to print sys for example sys o and we will print this and we will call factorial of 5 and let's see what's the answer you will run the program and it should be not this should be out okay and we will run the program and the factorial of uh, 5 is 120 which is true right in the same way we can calculate the factorial of 4 and the answer will be 24 because 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 multiplied by 2 is 24 multiplied by 1 is 24 itself right and 24 multiplied by 5 is 120 which is the factorial of 5 so this way of uh, calling method from itself is called recursion and you can uh, do it something like this so i hope you have understood the basic concept of rec recursion and i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now